as a Canadian kid playing hockey, you want to play in the NHL. You're watching TSN and SportsCenter every night. You're seeing all these NHL players. You're, it's the most popular sport in the country, and that's what you want to do. That's most Canadian kids' dreams. I was rated for this NHL draft my grade 12 year, and I couldn't even tell you how much confidence I had because of that. I was also nervous because if you don't get picked, it's a big blow to your ego. So that's the reason why my agent, Mike Gillis, he had a rule that if you weren't rated in the first three rounds, you're not going because he didn't want to see one of his clients go to a draft. Mine was in Calgary, Alberta. This is back in 2000, 23 years ago. So he said to me, Sean, you're not going to go. You're rated in the seventh round. I don't want you to be disappointed. I want you to stay at home, have a barbecue with your family, and wait by the phone. So that's exactly what I did. My family was at home. We had a little barbecue going. At that time, you know, the internet was a little bit different. So they were like two or three rounds behind online. I was getting really nervous. I knew they were around like the, the fifth or sixth round. I'm like, the draft's probably over because this was the second day because the first day is the first three rounds. The second day is the rest. And then all of a sudden, that phone rang. So the phone rang, and I think my mom grabbed it and said, here. And I picked up the phone, and it was, it was, it was a gentleman by the name of Don Luce who was the director of player personnel. He's like, Sean, he's like, I, my name is Don Luce, the director of player personnel. Um, I'd like to congratulate you. We just selected you in the eighth round of the draft. Um, we're going to call you Darcy Regeer, the GM. He's going to call you in a few minutes, give you some details. So the phone hung up, and then the celebration began. Woo woo! And it was, it was a really good feeling. Um, the one thing I want to discuss about this is the way that I look at the NHL drafts is that it's a family accomplishment. These are 18-year-old kids that, just like me, had only been away from home for the one year. To that point, their families are involved in every aspect of hockey through and through. So the way that I look at it is, and I, and I ask a lot of my guests this on my show that have been drafted, I'm like, do you look at it as a family accomplishment? Do you feel that your family is just as responsible as you are for, for this selection? And, I, and, and they, all, they all agree. A lot of them say that they've never thought of it like that, but a lot of them agree. I had an opportunity one summer when I was in a conditioning camp, before I had signed, but I was a draft pick, and we're staying at the Marriott Hotel in Buffalo, and Rob Ray was being honored for his contributions to the community. So I found out that there was this presentation happening, and it was in one of the uh, like auditoriums in the hotel. So I poked my head in, and I was just watching it. And I was w watching Rob Ray, and you know, he's there, and he's getting a lot of attention, likes it just like me, you know, so he's there, he's happy. But what I was really paying attention to was everybody else. How everybody was so thankful that Rob Ray was involved in this and that, and I'm just kind of like, if being a hockey player and having this kind of pedestal has that big of an impact, if you're about the better good, that could be very, very powerful, okay? And I'm watching this and I'm like 19 years old, it was about a year before I signed, and I was like, wow, like this is who I wanna be like. I wanna be a player like this. I wanna be involved in the community. I wanna do all these events. I, want, I wanna be involved in all these happy faces and good energy and like this is absolutely incredible. 